when there is a fraudulent election, widespread resentment and judicial injustice, the military organized a coup. Nigerians, General Ibrahim Badamorsi Babangida retired, affectionately known as IBB, who served as the Federal Republic of Nigeria's military head of state from 1985 to 1993, as expressed his concern about the political unrest in the region of West Africa. IBB listed three times on circumstances in a statement on his verified Twitter account that might easily prompt a military coup. Now, let me quote him. Election malpractice vote fraud voter fraud widespread rigging and torture must become the norm for an election has become the norm of an election in order for the military to stage a coup these electoral verses will cause the public to lose faith in their government leading to widespread resentment that would attract military might to watch. Second, he discussed the desperation of politicians to use all methods at their disposal to win election. When he said rigged election, it was referring to the fact that Mr. A and Mr. B were declared the winners after you cast your vote. As a result, there are no elements of democracy. In the process and in these circumstances anarchy becomes a criterion for political figures to be elected to office such a situation would draw the military's attention to the fact that democratic authorities had abandoned those process which would threaten coup plans is pre preceptive on this extraction was his. Thirdly, the former military commander emphasized the judiciary's failure to support legitimacy, featuring or furthering his argument. It may be he urged that up, up holding justice is crucial to maintaining a country's integrity and in some way or another giving the masses new hope inside a democratic institution. Now, who will protect democracy in both the political and judiciary system? Who will? Who will protect democracy if both the political and judiciary systems are corrupt? He claimed that this area of judiciary manipulation, also known as justice in impunity, was crucial in alerting the military from viewing it as gross manipulation and that the common man could no longer be defended by justice with whom he with whom the constitution has vested the power to interpret the law what do you think about uh, this well nigerians have reacted my fellow nigerians you should not be deceived by military coup in our country, let's face or force ourselves to do the right thing. Military government cannot solve our problem. A case study, a case study of Abacha. He was head of the state. This man looted till now. Nigerians are still recovering that thief money from remote countries today. Military are worse than Abacha. Okay, you have already speaking my mind. In fact, a common person have no benefit at all in government. The area they are they they are only see him is collect revenues from his hand. For the first time, IBB talk truth. Looking at the three circumstances raised by the retired general, he clearly portrays the scenario in Nigeria state. The only thing that is standing between 
is the outcome of the tribunal ruling. It is true that the common man is no longer defended and justice is no longer availed for the common man. If the judiciary this time around fails to deliver justice, which we mean succumbing to the whims and the caprice of the power that be, then the military will be fallen if they did not act. To me, I would love the military to take over power because what happened with INEC is selection, not election. Best thing I have seen today. I am happy with this news. With the analyst Mr. IBB has given, there are clear indications that such military involvement may likely take place. So, hmm. If only bets that the judiciary were able to deliver some judgment that was before them and convince the whole world of the legal and the legitimacy of an elected leader as the case of Nigeria is turning to, we are watching anyway. My prayers for our country. I say amen to that. When you were, milit when you were killing the military, one by one, when you annoyed the fairest election in Nigeria, when Abacha was looting our money to foreign banks, when Abacha was killing Nigerians by time bomb, so who should take over from the military? I don't blame people supporting you anyway. Hey, my brother, I stand with, let us train ourselves to do the right thing. The worst is from the military government. Abacha has a case study. When Abacha was head of state, he looted Nigerian funds after that he started killing civilians. Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So the West African leaders should try to change and do the needful. Democracy is the best government so far. People are talking about military government is because they feel that Democracy has failed them. If these people can bring out their hearts and do the needful, I don't think anybody wants to be on that military rule. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.